Hey up everybody, uh, I'm just putting the finishing touches now to my mechanical hacksaw so let's crack on then and get this finished now
Right then, before I leave you, to the eagle eyed of you out there, you'll notice something different. I just thought as an experiment, while I were, while I were doing this project, and it hadn't took me long to do it, probably a couple of hours work, well, I thought I'd just try it without the gearing system on and just have it on a straight drive to the crank. So what I've done then, I've just took the intermediate gear off, out there, and left it blank. Took the other side, the other side of the gears off the shaft and I've put a, a bigger pulley on to what I had on. I didn't have a pulley but I've made one out of some hard wood and it, it, it works fine. And what, what happens then, it's just, <clears throat> it's just running a considerable amount faster. Because what I found with the gears on is you got some in inherent gear noise. It was fine on the brass. It was just on the harder materials like steel. Um, you got a bit of gear noise. Uh, for example, if anybody's got a Myford lathe or a, a similar lathe, well probably any lathe, when you engage the tumbler on the headstock to engage the gear train to drive the lead screw for your feeds and your screw cutting, you'll hear that gear noise come, kick in. And basically, it's just the same with this. You get, you get inherent gear noise. And the reason it's worse with the harder material is because the backlash in the gears as the source coming up to its stroke ready to go back it's taking the weight off the teeth just for that millisecond on every revolution and it's causing a bit of uh, chatter maybe not chatter is the right word but it's causing gear noise anyway so I thought just as an experiment I'd do that it took me a couple of hours to do it so I'll just show you these, I'm, I'm going to actually re revert it back to put the gears on I think just for, a, just for what I'll be using it for uh, but I'll just show you these few clips of it running and cutting w without the gears on Well that's it for this project then, um, it's all completed now, uh, if I'm going to be critical I might give it another coat of paint because there's only one coat of paint gone on that bare metal actually, so I may give it another coat of paint. Uh, yeah I like to make something from nothing if I can and that's basically what I've done with this, it's all items I've had lying around my workshop for donkey's years, I had the motor to give me and everything else has just been lying around uh, so it's basically it's cost me nothing so if you've enjoyed that find it useful find it informative give me a thumbs up and a subscribe and uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do next but I'll catch you on my next video so thanks for watching then bye for now